Good morning. Welcome back. Uh, in this video tutorial, we will be learning how to make a a bird, an origami bird. Um, bird's an animal that lives in the forest. I'll be using a uh, paper that's already been used. And when I speak, when we do origami, talking about uh, the forest or the jungle, remember, uh, we take advantage of this opportunity to talk about uh, deforestation and cutting down trees, etc. Anyway, to make the bird, uh, we need to start with a square. So, use from our rectangular piece of paper, we fold the top corner down like this, and we move the the extra rectangle that's left over down at the bottom. Like so. Good. Uh, so now we have a diagonal line going from one corner to the other. We want another line going this way. Like so. Okay. Now starting from here, what we're going to do is we're going to put in our hands this flap right here. We're going to lift it up and we're going to fold it down so that this corner of the triangle gets folded to the tip, like so. Okay. We turn it over and we repeat. We lift up the flap, mm -hmm. open it, and push down so that this corner of the triangle gets folded to the tip, like so. Just like so. So now we have a diamond, okay? And as you can see on the bottom, all of the paper, all of the, the edges open up, and at the other end, uh, all of the papers join together into one corner. We want this corner facing away from us, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the flaps of the right and the left corner, and we're going to fold them up so that this edge is on line with the center. You see there's a, there's a fold line right here in the center that we use as a reference. So we fold this up like this. You can imagine sort of like making a paper airplane. Okay? So we do one. We do two. Okay? Like this. Oop. Now, we need another reference line. So, this little triangle here, this flap, all we're going to do is we're going to fold it down, nice and strong, and we fold it back up. And we open the folds. So now we can see three reference lines. What this is going to do, this is going to help us uh, make the proper fold. As you remember, all of these papers open up. So what we want to do is we want to open the top flap, just like this, okay? And this line, this reference line that we made before, we're going to fold the paper up on this line. And as we push it out, the paper will fold naturally on these diagonal lines here, like so. So when you push it up, put your fingers in there, and push down. This is the same fold that we do in, in the... In the scorpion, for example, okay, we go up like this. And now we have a big rhombus, big diamond. And now we need to repeat the process on the other side. So again, we take the right and the left edges, we fold them in, up like so. As you can see, now we have this reference line here. So when we fold the the corners in, it goes right to this corner here, where the two cent the two reference lines cross. Right there. Boom. And boom. Okay. Pull it down. Back up. Out. And now again, this flap. We lift it up. We fold it back. Fold it over across on this reference line that we've made. And that allows the paper to fold down 
making the two big rhombuses. Good. So now we have our our body. Uh, what we're going to do is you can see on the right there are two flaps and on the left there are two flaps. What we want to do, we're going to sort of shift these flaps. Uh, so what you'll do is the, the two that are on top you will pull them together like this and the two that are on the bottom you will pull them together like this. Okay, So we still have more or less the same situation however you can see that on the top there will be two sort of arms. One of these is going to be the the head, the neck, and the head, and the other will be the the tail. Uh, to do this uh, is quite simple. You just pinch here, and you pinch on the other side, and just pull it down and fold. Pull it down and fold. Okay, and we can make the head. We need to do a valley fold. As you can see, this paper opens up here like so. Just open that, push down, and pinch closed. So now we have the beak. Neck and the beak, the head. You can be more inclined, less inclined. That's however you want to do it. The tail. Again, the tail. Okay, and now we need the wings. To make the wings, we're just going to fold up these flaps, like so, and a little bit further up from the natural fold line, a little further up, we're just going to fold it back down, like so. Now we have a wing, repeat on the other side. And now we have our origami crane, a bird. Okay. Now remember, when you start decorating, write the classification. There are some complicated folds in this, in this animal, so just work slowly, watch the video, pause, re-watch it, study the folds, and, and just work nice and slow. Good luck!